Hi again. I have finished grading the assignments for our week that focused on humor and on time management. I was encouraged to see the variety of movies that people in the class found funny. It was clear to me that I need to go grab a few movies to watch really soon, based on your recommendations, and thanks for the recommendations. No doubt you will agree with me, humor is amazingly healing. It appears that most in the class found value with the time management chapter. In my years of working with students and non-students alike, it is obvious that poorly managed time is one of the most common culprits for high stress levels. Besides your three-week experiment assignment with the ABC 123 time management technique, I strongly urge you to play with at least one of the three time management methods in last week's chapter for the rest of your life. It can make an enormous difference. And if you are like me, you probably found the notion of serendipity an interesting one. Be sure to read through that section and see how your thoughts about managing your time seem to change a little. We really hit serendipity in a thorough way in my advanced stress management class, Health 2400 Mind, Body Wellness. I need to quickly visit one of the questions in the time management assignment. There was one question that asked, why do we always do what we want to do? Nearly everyone got that one correct, but some contended that it wasn't really true. The idea here is that in every moment of your life, you choose to do what you want to do. It is never otherwise. You might feel that you are being forced to do this or that thing. But that would be a lie. Every moment of your life is entirely yours to choose what you do with it. Of course, along with your moment-to-moment -moment choices are the consequences of your choices. You may choose to go to work tomorrow, and you may not. Either way, there are consequences. But never forget, you are still the one making the decision. You are always free to choose what you do in this moment, and every other one. This coming week, we treat an extremely interesting aspect of ourselves, namely the power of our subconscious mind. I urge you to really dive into the work of this lesson. The chapter has some really fun and useful stuff that I have learned over the years. I think you will find it both educational and entertaining edutainment. For some of you, this may be very new and unfamiliar territory. Let that be a good thing, that you're learning some interesting new stuff. This information, and the application of it, is nearly as cool as it gets. You'll work on the chapter and you'll also experience another really nice and simple relaxation exercise, commonly known as guided imagery. And I highly recommend that you view the accompanying video of my face-to-face -face version of this week's information. It will greatly expand your understanding of how this works and benefit you greatly toward being able to use the subconscious mind in positive and useful ways. It's a really interesting class that is worth your time to view it. And again, please remember to continue working on your daily time management planning for the assigned three weeks. The semester is cruising along swiftly. Keep up the great work and hang in there to the end. The rest of the semester is a blast, at least in this class. Have a terrific week. Dr. Alpin